In 1789, a ship set sail from England with a cargo of female convicts. These women were destined for Australia, where they would be used as sex workers and breeding stock for the growing colony. The ship, the Lady Juliana, became known as the Floating Brothel. In this video, we'll explore the history of the Floating Brothel, and the stories of the women who were forced to live on board. We'll also look at the impact that the ship had on the development of Australia. The Lady Juliana was a 200-ton ship that was originally built as a merchant vessel. In 1789, it was converted into a convict ship and set sail for Australia with a cargo of 237 female convicts. The women were a diverse group, and their crimes ranged from petty theft to murder. The voyage to Australia was long and arduous. The women were crowded into cramped quarters, and they were subjected to harsh conditions. Many of the women fell ill, and some even died. When the Lady Juliana finally arrived in Australia, the women were released into the colony. They were immediately put to work as prostitutes, and they were also expected to bear children. The women were treated as commodities, and they were often abused by the men in the colony. The floating brothel had a significant impact on the development of Australia. The women who were on board helped to establish the colony, and they also played a role in its growth. The children who were born to the women helped to increase the population of Australia, and they also helped to shape the culture of the country. The floating brothel is a fascinating and important part of Australian history. The women who were on board were strong and resilient, and they played a vital role in the development of the country. Their story is one of courage, survival, and hope. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on the floating brothel of Australia. If you did, please give it a like, and also subscribe to my channel for more videos. See you in the next video.